डॉक्टर हिमांशु गुप्ता आई एम फ्रॉम इंडिया डॉक्टर वेरी नाइस टू मीट यू आई वॉज लुकिंग फॉर आर्गन प्रोडक्ट्स एंड आई रियलाइज यू हैव वेरी गुड इम्प्लांट कैन यू प्लीज एक्सप्लेन मी अबाउट योर इम्प्लांट रेंज एब्सोलूटली the organ implant system is trying to take the simplistic view on the aspect of implant connections okay because as you know it all starts with the connection right right, right. Now, obviously you have the outer outer geometry the thread design etc etc right but everything starts with the connection right so in india there's a lots of implant Right. being placed correct a lot of implants i'm sitting i'm sure there is they're ranging from even still external hex absolutely right, <laughs> right. internal hex uh, yeah, yeah. right absolutely but there's a natural evolution right. as that we've gone through right and that really has to do more so with the conical connection or what okay. what is a more, a more defined term which is a morse taper okay some people use the, the term conical connection okay and they quite honestly they misuse it Okay. They've labeled it a Morse taper and it's really not a Morse taper. It's more okay. like a cone connect. It is a cone connection. Okay. But it, the different variances of as far as cone connections goes is really your specific Morse tapers. Okay. So there is the cutoff, let's call it a cutoff. Okay? The cutoff for it to actually be a Morse taper is about now a true Morse taper by the way is 1.5 degrees. Okay. Okay. But at about 5 degrees or below you actually have a, a, a phenomenon where the abutment sticks into the implant okay. because of the self locking action okay okay that's where you need an abutment removal tool which I'll demonstrate in just a second okay to remove that abutment from the implant okay so this the argon implant what i'm really honestly just very very impressed about this is why i joined the company the argon implant has a very unique connection in the sense that it has a super deep Morse taper okay. at 1.5, okay. so it's very, very parallel. Okay. Okay. And as you can see here, it has a very long abutment interface right. with the implant, right. which is super important for load dispersion. Right. So here's the abutment. Here's the implant. This is what also called a three-degree well. Okay. It's a very uh, long-established history in implant dentistry ever since the 80s, the okay. mid 80s. But the older connections, that's we basically call it old technology. does not have the internal hex. Okay. As soon as you add the internal hex, as you know, now you have an indexable connection. Right. So now you can do screw retain prosthetics right. as well as really nice anterior beautiful uh, custom uh, milled abutments etc. Okay. So by adding this hex slash Morse taper to the overall length this is 4.2 mm deep. Okay. So the internal hex again is super deep, okay. 3 mm well. You put this in and you slide it down make sure the hex engages. and you literally see the the action it drops down into place okay okay so you now you see the gap is shorter here right okay yeah so let me do that one more time okay so let me try to separate it okay so here here it is when it's not made it and then when you drop it into place it mates and it drops down into place okay, okay? can i do it absolutely i did that on purpose you did it perfectly right. but when i watch yeah so you really have to Again, this is the this is the benefit of the 1.5 degree right. true Morse taper. Now let right. me let me try to separate it. This will not come in. Okay, I, I separated it, but let me use this one now. Let me see if this one won't stick here. You put, see that in, and again one more time, boom! You see it drop into place. Right. Now let me purposely push this a little bit harder. Now try to separate it. There's Hard no double. screw in there. it's locked in place now that's an absolute benefit okay and the reason it's an absolute benefit is because you have no micro movement okay micro movement is what we call the silent killer in implant dentistry right the more moving parts you have right the more things wear out right right so when you have the 1.5 degree morse taper right morse taper true morse taper it actually sticks in there with no screw so you have to have the abutment removal tool as you see here this abutment removal tool has threads right in it there and it has this point that bottoms out on the inner portion of the well of the implant so again there's no screw in there holding in holding the abutment in place so what we simply do is we drop this down and it slides down the middle of the um, abutment You screw the threads into because there's threaded portion inside the inner portion of the abutment. You put this in, put it in, put it in, and it bottoms out. 
when it bottoms out, you continue turning righty tighty, and what it does, you can see the abutment, the abutment lifting right up, mm. and it won't come off, as you can see there. Okay. Okay. Great technique. Micro movement. Block completely. Knee, uh, then it turns to micro gap, Great. which then turns to micro pump which then turns to the bacterial soup, as we call it, going into the connection. And coming out. Of this is, exactly. This is why whenever you remove an abutment from an internal or external hex implant, it really stinks because that bacterial soup is in there. Yeah. Argon is the, the only company that has an internally connected true Morse taper implant. Okay. See? So again, now you have the benefit of aesthetics with your custom milled abutments, Correct. anterior aesthetics, etc. In the posterior, obviously, you can right. do the same thing, right. but it's not as critical as, as right. it is, is in the anterior. Now, uh, I have heard that recently you have come up with a single uh, pack of implant with drills and everything. What is that? That's correct. Very good. So these are basically what they call step drills. Okay. All right. Instead of going through five or six drilling process uh, as far as drills go to place an implant so your typical let's say your 4 4.0 type implant it'll use about three maybe four drills which is typically your pilot drill or your 2.0 okay. then it probably jumps to like a 2.8 okay or 2.5 something like that then like a 3.3 uh, or some somewhere around there typically 0 0.6 or 0.7 millimeters smaller so the step drill is kind of an all-in-one drill it, it, as you can see, it, it has its different levels of interface with the bone. So when you put this in, it drops in as your pilot, then it expands a little bit more, and then expands a little bit more, and then it even has your, has your countersink for the cortical area okay. as well. That countersink obviously allows for ro uh, room at the neck, okay. for in the cortical bony area. Okay. Okay. And here's a oversized model of that as far as the next size goes for your bigger drills. So at the most you could use is two drills to place the implant The implant itself. Okay. Right. So and these are very unique. Very good. And uh, you have uh, something in zirconia also? You have zirconia implant also? Yes, sir. How is that? All right. So let's go back to the Morse taper. Okay. So the Morse taper, notice I'm not using the word conical. Okay. Because conical is a misnomer. Right. Morse taper is the true word here. Okay. True Morse taper. <clears throat> so this is a little bit different because it, it is a zirconia implant, okay. which most people know is a metal as, as well. But zirconia and the, the I'll use it use the word holistic movement towards uh, titanium free. Okay. Okay. So this is a one degree Morse tapered uh, connection, but it has uh, basically three Bagging logs logs. in here where you can or, uh, where you can come in and actually put it in and it'll drop down into place. Okay. Now, to have a titanium, sorry, a um, zirconia screw in there, because what you don't want and what you can't have are titanium interfaces with zirconia, because it, it, you'll have abrasion, right. and that won't work. Right. So what happens is you need now some sort of zirconia uh, screw, okay. which is difficult. Okay. So what, what Rick Donica came up with, very unique and very, very um, innovative, this taper here with your interlocking index combined with now a peg that's a one degree taper as well. This simply goes in and you put it in and you literally push it down into place. Now obviously it's going to be flush with the top of the abutment. Okay. Whatever the peg is, is going to be flush with the top of the abutment. Okay. It doesn't move. Zero movement again, zero micro movement. The interface, that, that's really key, but all you do is remove that and then, now, in the, fi in the final design, it's going to have a hex in here. Okay. That you, that you basically so you push that down push and, and lock it. That's right. Very good. Friction fitted. Doesn't move. No abrasion of the zirconia. Okay. Exactly correct. How's the how's the aesthetic market in India? Good, it's very good. Yeah, and excellent. Growing every time. Excellent. Uh, I have another question. Yes, sir. Uh, 
how do you how do you explain the perioprotect property of your implants you very good question this is your thinking <laughs> cuz now but now we're talking about the overall entity of the implant Correct. that's a great question all right so let's go back to our, our oversized model here now let's talk about all the features of the of the implant so it, ha it has its e a deep in internal connection we've already talked about that it has new uh, uh, apical aggressive threaded implants okay okay so okay. but it also has your self-tapping portion here. right it has a blunted right. uh, apex which is absolutely key for your sinus right. when you're doing uh, sinus bumps etc right. it has square type threads up here however for, okay. for nice co compression okay. uh, of the bone which is typically trabecular okay. bone okay which trabecular bone as you know likes compression All right but the most important honestly is what you just discovered or, or disc discussed is your sloping shoulders here All right your sloping shoulder here yes gives you what we call a bone seal okay because this implant is actually subcrestally placed okay so let's say here's your crest mm. you would actually place it a millimeter or two below the crest of bone below the crest of bone. now why is that important and you typically, with this type of implant, well, a lot of people do two-stage procedures because they want the maximum amount of bone to grow on top of the shoulders, right, instead of doing a single stage, which, again, you can do, but it's just your preference. But what you can do is you put the cover screw on, let it everything heal up. Well, you, you, what you'll notice is with these sloping shoulders here, there will be an overgrowth of bone on top of the implant. Okay. So what does that mean? Now you have really a bone seal, bone seal on around top. the collar of the exactly. implant. Exactly. Okay. So once you once you remove the cover screw, the only thing you really see is this portion right there on top. On top. Okay. But again, with a natural amount of a bone, of bone, bone on top. Okay. So sometimes there's so much bone actually on top okay. that you have to have a what we call a profiler okay. to then profile your your uh, implant and surrounding bone area around this to get the uh, healing abutment uh, again okay. uh, placed okay. in place because okay. it is a subcrestally placed implant okay. as you know uh, crestal or what we call bone level or crestally placed implants do not have that scenario but all on top of that here's the end result okay what's the end result of all that bone on top you have beautiful thick keratinized gingiva right where your crown is supposed to be very good so now you have your circular seal right with your uh, a crown interface Very with good. the implant. That's great. Yeah. So uh, with this I understood that you are not giving only an implant, you are giving long term solutions. Exactly. And this is For what is patient. needed in implantology That's when it. we are catering our patients. Because the They don't understand these uh, complex issues. Exactly. They always look into some or the other type of implant. The ultimate but biologic is, outcome is yeah. beautiful thick tissue. This is excellent. This now is why is that a good problem that to have? Is that yes. not a good problem? To have? <laughs> <laughs> I always say don't 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 get mad at the thick tissue. <laughs> right. Don't don't start getting your Absolutely. laser out Absolutely. and your and your you uh, right. scalpel. You right. you Let's right. do it nice and easy. We'll profile Correct. the bone. We'll open up the area Correct. with a larger healing abutment, Correct. and we'll we'll do the tissues Correct. nice and thick. Correct. Yeah. Correct. Yeah. Yeah. That's interesting. Very interesting. Yeah. I'm really impressed. Complete, I'm really impressed. It is impressed a complete with, uh, implant solution. Yes. This is an implant solution. Right. Great. Right. These are the issues which have never been addressed in implantology earlier. It's a physical design. Yes. With an ideal biologic exactly. outcome. Exactly. Exactly. Correct. And uh, the abutment with no micro movement no micro is movement. an excellent thing. That's exactly Thank right. Yeah. Thank you so oh, much. Thank you. Appreciate it.